Hi, and welcome to week four of Tabletop Experiments. It's hard to believe that we've been indoors for around over four weeks now, but hopefully this next experiment will get us prepped to get on outside and enjoy some of that warm weather. So for today's experiment, what we're going to be doing is actually going over how to start a seedling kit. Uh, so if anyone's interested in creating a garden, whether it be on your balcony or outdoor in a couple of raised beds, this is the video for you. Uh, so for this, we're actually going to be using a Jiffy greenhouse kit. Uh, these can be purchased at any Walmart, Home Depot, Lowe's, hardware stores. Uh, I know I picked this one up locally at our Walmart. Um, so with this, each will contain some peat pods, which will be used as the medium which you'll be growing your seeds. So to do this, they look like little hockey pucks as of right now. But once you add some water to them, they will expand. Uh, so for this, I'll take about a quart of water. Now with the water, it's important to remember uh, if you're going from your faucet to allow that water to have about 24 hours to 36 hours to kind of just mellow on off without a cap in a mason jar or a bowl. That way that the chlorine can dissipate. Any, uh, any chlorine that you're getting right from the tap into your tray can affect the seedling growth. Uh, in addition to that, once you do have your water, uh, whether it be something you purchase at the grocery store with distilled water, make sure that you heat that up to a lukewarm temperature around 105 degrees. Once you have that step all completed, the next process would be to add the water. So it's a good thing that these seed pods aren't like the Wicked Witch of the West as you're going to add a water. So just make sure that as you're adding this water, you're distributing it equally throughout the tray. And we'll try to get a time lapse photo of these seed pods absorbing that moisture and becoming saturated, ready for the next step. So once you've allowed your seed pods to absorb that, absorb that moisture, uh, you should be ready for your next step. Uh, once they're completely saturated, they should look something like this, so a lot different from the initial pod that we started off with. Um, from here, I guess it's important to choose your seeds. Now some seeds are a little bit easier to start in these kits versus others. I know for this, I'm going to be doing peppers. Uh, so using some pepper seeds, I know I have Tabasco as well as jalapeno peppers. Um, so important to take some scissors when trying to open these as opposed to just trying to be a savage and tear them apart and have seeds go flying everywhere. So we'll do that and for the next step too, I'd like to have a paper plate available as I'm able to kind of just pour all these smaller seeds out onto this paper plate. As you can see. And then the next step is just creating uh, a little bit of a hole in each, each pod here to place some seeds. Now it's important to remember too that each packet you have will have information on the back as to how many days it will take to germinate as well as the plant depth and what you'd like to use. And you can kind of see that right here on these jalapeno peppers. Again, it will vary based off of what you're trying to grow. So for that, the next step again, is to take your pod, grab that, and the next tool, instead of just using my fingers, is actually a mechanical pencil. Now you can use a mechanical pencil for this next step, or if you'd like to go old school, you can always use a classic number two. Um, so again, for this, we're looking at for the jalapenos, a quarter of an inch for our depth. So I'm just gonna take my pencil, put a little hole in there, 
and sometimes I'll just dab my finger to get it a little moist and then I will put around, since these are particularly small seeds, I'll put about three seeds per each pod. And again, after you have added those in there, you'll want to kind of shift some dirt around. Again, you may have lost a bit of dirt as well as they were expanding. You can always throw a little bit back in there to make sure that they're covered. Uh, now I'll continue that without all the trays and make sure that I'm labeling them after the fact. So again, with something like this, today is May 6th. I'll make sure that I date this packet with May 6th and actually put how many rows in this kit I've used. So if I'm making seven rows of jalapeno peppers, I'll make sure that I identify what seven rows those are, as well as the date in which I started it, just for my own knowledge moving forward uh, before we get on out there to the garden. Um, so again, with something like that, we're looking for around two to three weeks before these guys start to germinate. And again, then we're hoping to get a seedling like this. Um, so again, doesn't look anything too crazy just yet, but given some time, it will be able to sprout Produce, um, some peppers for you. Um, now, in addition to all of this, if you do have a heat mat, this can actually speed up the germination process for the seeds as well. So you will put that top on your greenhouse kit, and again, if you do have that mat, plug that on in there. The actual, the extra heat will heat up that soil and again, speed up that germination process. Um, before that, uh, uh, once your seedlings do start to emerge, if you grow lights, if you can put those underneath there, again, that will help in the development of your plants. Uh, if this isn't a viable option for you, that's okay. You can always put it in a sunny spot, uh, in a windowsill, or anywhere in the home. It's just important, again, as being in the North Country and thinking that maybe we haven't seen the last of snow, unfortunately, to make sure that you're not placing them directly outside as of yet. Um, hopefully, in additional, in additional videos, we'll be going over bringing our seedlings out to our raised bed and hearing the progress of our seedlings um, in the future. So hopefully you guys all dig this uh, tabletop experiment, and until next time,